It is a privilege to get to work here at this park. I mean, every day walking in, you know, it's hard to believe that you're actually coming to a job. It's so peaceful. I just know I should be here. Spring Mill State Park in Mitchell, Indiana, welcomes tourists from all over the world. The rolling hills and colorful hardwoods provide a glimpse of what Indiana looked like back when this territory first became a state. When Coletta Pruitt first visited here with her family in the 1980s, she was fascinated by the region's history and beauty, as well as the heritage brought to life by the reenactors at the Pioneer Village. I first came here because I am a mother who was raising four children and I was a stay-at-home mom. And I came to this park and basically we were here every day after I found this place. I thought it was amazing. And I told everybody that worked here in the village that as soon as I got all my kids in school, I was going to start working here. Several of the park's historical interpreters told Coletta not to get her hopes up. Getting a job as a reenactor at the park was extremely difficult because there were so few job openings. And the job required intensive research, as well as intensive physical labor, in order to accurately capture the authenticity of pioneer life in Indiana. But Coletta was undaunted. She studied relentlessly, teaching herself how to weave, garden, cook, and raise crops and animals, precisely as pioneer women would have done it in the 19th century. Actually, the day my daughter started kindergarten, I got a call from the blacksmith and he said the lady who did cooking in the Pioneer Village just quit. And so the day my daughter started kindergarten, I drove down here and applied and I've worked here ever since. Coletta loved teaching families and student groups about Pioneer Living, working for two years as the village cook, followed by an additional 15 years as the village gardener. Well, they still call me the barefoot gardener. I n never wore shoes. I mean, even when it got cold, I just loved being here barefoot. Yeah, I dipped the water from the creek to go water the plants, and yeah, it was amazing. Not wearing shoes was period correct. You would wear your shoes if you were going to a meeting or if you were going to go to town and do something, but if you were working, you were saving the shoe leather. Shoes were very expensive. Just like any mother who is proud of her children, Coletta could hardly contain herself when she had an opportunity to show off the charms of this tiny pioneer community. The thing that I am so impressed about with this mill is these stones. If you look at this, you can see a master carver worked on this and he did a beautiful job making corners. Look at this stone wall here. That is an original wall that was put up around the owner's homes and it kept the hogs actually out of their yard because really who wants hogs in the yard? Um, this house was down to the foundation and the fireplaces. It is the original fireplaces and the original foundation in that house and it's been built back to the original plans. Um, and it's an amazing house, I love that one. Today, Coletta's own children have grown up and moved away, but she'll always have the Pioneer Village and Spring Mill State Park as the objects of her time, dedication, and passion, as well as her unconditional love. I am so proud of this park. I congratulate people when they find us because I think they found one of the best state parks in Indiana. I absolutely love this park and there's so much history here and I love introducing people to the history.